Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to into episode 13 and 14 of Amigami oh SS. Let's go ahead and get started. Mm, okay, gotta make sure. With episode 13 and 3, 2, 1, go. Two years ago, Christmas Eve. Uh oh. Mm hmm. Oh, we're doing a different opening now. Okay. They literally just showed I up in this opening because, I mean, she is the next person we're focusing on, but damn. I mean, no, but, but still, they showed everyone else, but the main focus was her. Oh. Mm. Just pretend you ain't seen anything, boys. Because she's going to turn around and ask you. Remember, you gotta go to the bathroom. I 
I mean, no offense, that was a dumb statement <laughs> to ask her. Ooh, I damn girl. No, Dwinji. <laughs> right? I mean, you've been standing there for a good behind minute. I would still go there regardless. No, yeah. Uh, something tells me we're going to see I with the cat. Curry. Please. Mm -hmm. You're holding the line, so pick something. You were speaking out loud. Yeah, but you see, everyone else, Juanji, is waiting behind you. You're holding the line. Damn. <sighs> Make up your mind. Mm-hmm.
Meow meow. Where are you? Well, we don't see a black cat over here, do we? Oh. <gasps> the cat's name is Paul. Oh. It's so cute. Ah. Are you serious? Watch it just for swimsuit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I mean, you told her yesterday, duh. You introduced yourself to I. Is that your sister's class? Yeah, so she was bound to figure that out. You know. Mm-hmm. I mean, hey, e easy access when she wants to practice after school.
You two have got to stop meeting like this. Of course. I mean, because your little sister was like, hey, go do this for me. You're too busy reading. So, one up. what you want to do, I... I know that's right. <laughs> Mia, really? Is that the grand prize? Oh. Mm, that's okay. That's good.
Maybe she's just going to use it for something. Yeah, you have good points. <laughs> I. <laughs> oh. Well, there's your good deed for the day. cutie like she she seems very to herself and such and that she only really has like a certain amount of friends where she just like hangs out and talks with I think everybody's kind of like that but the fact is that these two essentially meant with Dreamy being perverted as fuck I mean that just tells you something but it, it's similar to almost like with him and Kaoru where she would always joke and do things and <laughs> he would lash out on it which is cute but no she's really adorable i love the fact that you know one we're getting someone else from the swim club finally um the cat was cute something tells me the cat is gonna play like a big role for her arc and such it does make me wonder what her conflict for this is going to be because as of right now all we know is that okay she likes cats, she's a part of the swim club, and she loves messing around with Juinji, doing, like, pretty jokes and shit, which is funny and cute. But something tells me, probably either in the next episode or the next two episodes, that is essentially when we'll see the conflict with her and seeing, like, why, you know, she gets this focus this time. Because each girl, like, previous three girls, they all had something what is her niche that's going to be her conflict? Honestly, it could literally be anything. But I do think the moment where she possibly fell in love with him was in this episode. With him picking up the trash, the beach, the glow of, like, the sunset. It's just right in itself, and I love it. Like, you, when you know, you know. And that was a cute moment for them, too. <clears throat> As for, you know, doing tea, I don't know. I mean, because, like, we, we'll always see the girl's side first rather than his side because, of course, his side is more of, like, the last two episodes. And then he's like, oh, yeah, I, I like you and such. So I think, like, possibly also where their ending moment is going to be, it's probably going to be at the beach again because, I mean, for Kaoru, yeah, like, him, him and uh, Kaoru, they were rolling on the beach on a bike and stuff. Uh, say got, you know, hey, look at me through a camera and always tell me I'm cute and give me all these cute moments. Well, best girl, Morty, aka the cannon shit, girl got a future. So, I, where are you leading on this list? Because honestly, I don't even know yet, girl. So, but props to her, really. Her first episode, very, very good. I love the introduction of how, once again, yes, Christmas Eve two years ago, him being sad about being dumped and, you know, stood up by his date. But her coming in, running home, them crashing into each other and, like, literally her trying to get home because she went to give <sighs> um, her little brother his Christmas um, gift, which was super sweet. That was adorable. Like, oh my god. That's a good opening. Other than that, go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode 14. Alright, episode 14 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh god. Nice. 
Thanks. How much cuter than Mori? Mori is the cutest. Well, everybody knows how it's cute. Because... What should be I? <laughs> How? Well, it's too late. You guys are making enough noise. Remember, this is a library. Shut up. I'm just like, I'm on the floor about any moment he has. There's I. And be like, hey, shut up. Just shut up and be like, mm. At first it was make up your mind, now shut up. <laughs> is it weird to say that in the, their relationship, I is kind of the one who wears the pants? And Juinchi is Juinchi. <laughs> To get a book. Yeah, you actually still need to do the equations and learn them yourself because when you're just copying them, you're not really exactly learning.
Like, oh, but not for little me, your girlfriend. Was it me or was there like tension? Like, you know how like when people size each other up? Or was that just me? Am I overlooking that? This is her conflict. You didn't even know she had a brother? I mean, aren't you friends, kind of? I told him. You are up all night reading.
you need to. Mm. <laughs> Hope that little fire in your ass. Slapping his butt with a bug. It's like that. Oh my god. Say that to your brother? Oh my god! No. Mm -mm. Later. Yeah, because he is your problem.
right? You couldn't just wait until she got out of practice to say that? It's highly embarrassing. I get that, but damn, you could have waited. You could have sat outside. Thank you! It's just a boy in love. And he waited. <laughs> Shut up! This mofo actually waited. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay, good job, I but I mean, you know, we can't hang out anymore. <laughs> yeah, as a thank you. So, we want you to have it. You should take it. <laughs> Ain't that a little too tight? Press the button. <laughs> right? <laughs> Go on.
That's so sweet. Aww. Good job, guys. Oh, girl, you already in them. <laughs> Slowly but surely, let's love, babe. No, that was so cute. Shut up. Okay. Them just bonding over the toy and having fun with the toy. Oh my god, that was just mwah, mwah, mwah. like oh, dude. chef's kiss with the cherry on top. Just seeing them interact together was just so freaking cute. Even though he was almost like having a moment where he's like, oh my god, like the skirt might lift up, I can see it, bruh. Such a ass down. But no, even the fact is in the end, she gives, I gives it to him first. They play with the toy, and then three kids come along, and in the end, they decide to give the toy to them, which is really sweet, because in the end, it was still used not only by them, but now it's used by somebody else. I get the fact that, yeah, because her little brother is just like, oh, this isn't the newest, like, version, I don't want it anymore, but I think he's still grateful for the fact that she got it for him, even though I'm guessing he wanted a newer version of it. It's It's very similar to... Mm. Because uh, I wouldn't say he's spoiled. We don't really know much about his brother, her brother right now. But think about spoiled kids. Um, if you were one as well, because <laughs> am I gonna am I gonna gaslight myself today? <laughs> am I gonna shout myself out? Fuck it. Okay. So when I was a kid, um, I pretty much told him. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I was saying, when I was a kid, I practically almost got everything handed to me. Um but there were times where, like, of course, like, I had to work for certain things just as much as anyone else. And, of course, when I have kids, it's going to be the same thing. Like, as much as I'm giving you, like, um, a tablet or a computer or a PlayStation or a Switch or something, um, having the kid work for it is so much better. Because they then they'll know the value of earning it yourself and when, you know, the hard work pays off and such. Like... Like, I, I love telling this story all the freaking time because, you know, that new story, that new story of me eventually when I get my car, that's going to be the new news story. Um, when I spent, I saved my money up. Um, and at the time, this was like, I think the first or second year of the PlayStation 5 that came out. Um, mind you, I, I still had a four. I was, I, I had that four for like a hot minute. I bought it, I bought that for when we were maybe like halfway through its life, um, or very close to the end of its life cycle, um, before the PS5 came out. A couple of years, probably, a, yeah, yeah, a couple of years, because I got it before, I got it way before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, duh, because that was the only reason why I bought a 4, because at the time I had a 3. Um, so, mind you, at the time when PlayStation 5s and Xbox 
is it Xbox Series or what, what whatever the the newest Xbox was at the time. I just don't remember. Um when that came out, of course, that was a shit ton of having to deal with getting it because of course, we were in a pandemic at the time still. Um and everybody and their grandma were buying like bulks of everything, including like gaming systems and were reselling it for three, four, five times its initial price. So I was like, I'm not going to, um, like cough out almost a thousand dollars for this. I was like, cause that is not worth it. Like I, I think at the time during the pandemic, I brought a like I was in line for a switch and I got one, thank God. Um, and such. And so that was the same thing with this. So when I was starting at my former job, UPS, and I saved up my money, um, I had gotten like a random behind um, message email from Amazon saying that like, oh, hey, they're gonna what they're gonna do is um, you can <laughs> like sign up for like potentially getting one. And then whenever it does come, boom, you can just go ahead and pay for it. So I had signed up for one. I was like, cause I didn't know when they were going to pop up. I said, Hey, um, just in case you never know. Um, and one day that one day came and I was in the running. I was one of many who got that email just as much as everybody else for the Xbox. A lot of people were wondering, like some people even did both. And 9 out of 10, it wasn't the one that they really wanted. But I was like, I just want the PlayStation because, duh, um, that's me. And it's my baby and I fucking want it. So I had to, like, literally, I think I had uh, 40, either 72 or 48 hours just to get it. Thank God I got it. And the day I got here, your girl was fucking happy as fuck. Because, like, it, it's it's everything. As much, like, as much as I love, like, my clothes and my shoes and everything, um, and my phone and my computer and everything, that, that thing, that thing. Love it. That was a lot of fucking money, though. <laughs> but no, like, seriously, dead ass. But it's just, I think the value of the dollar is, like, the best thing. But yeah, I think that's probably what the conflict is going to be for I with it's pretty much her relationship with her little brother. So I am kind of hoping going into the next two episodes next week, which will probably be like her finale two episodes, um, that Juichi and I do have another conversation about her, her little brother or he meets her little brother. I think that would be very interesting so that he can see a hands on point of view instead of her just always talking about him, you know, but we won't know until then. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of Omegami SS. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for everybody else and next Saturday for Patreons for episodes 15 and 16. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.